Hi kitchen. Um, today I want to talk to you a little bit about salad dressing. Um, it was a couple years ago, well a little longer than that, probably four years ago, and someone, I mentioned to someone that I try to eat as healthy as I can, and they asked me do I make my own salad dressings, and I'm like, no, but I buy the really healthy ones, and they're like, well look, read the bottle and see what's in it, so I did which I'm surprised I didn't anyway, but I was buying a brand that I just trusted and thought was healthy. But you know, most of them contain canola oil, which is really not good for us at all. So I started making salad dressings, and first I thought, oh my gosh, I don't think I can add that to everything else that I do, but actually they're very easy, very simple, and you can make them for next to nothing. So. I'm going to start with my most basic one today and show you that one and we'll uh, eventually we'll get to some uh, buttermilk ranch and um, I make a French that's really good. So today we're going to start with um, red wine vinaigrette. This is a really basic recipe and it's easy to make. You can throw it together really fast and another reason I started with this one is I'm having a dinner party Sunday and so um, I can use this and uh, the salad that I'm making I want to use this on it so it's very good very delicious I'm just going to mix everything in this pint jar and shake it up so the first thing we're going to do is olive oil I'm going to use a cup we're going to use two parts olive oil to one part red wine vinegar so I'm using and then I'm going to use add a half a cup of my red wine vinegar we're going to use about a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. We're going to use some, uh, I didn't get here. So we're going to use some garlic and I'm going to use this minced garlic that I buy because I use so much garlic that there is no way I could peel it. But you can use granulated garlic powder, um, dried garlic, granulated garlic um, or you can peel your own fresh but for the sake of time I'm going to go with this. So I'm going to put a couple of teaspoons of that in there. I'm going to put about oh a fourth a teaspoon of salt, a fourth a teaspoon of pepper. You can add any kind of um, dried Italian herbs to this that you want to too, but I'm just showing you the most basic recipe that I use. So I also want to add a little bit of honey. Uh, it cuts that vinegar twang just a little bit, so I'm going to add about a tablespoon of honey to this. All right, we've got all that in there, and we're going to shake it up. And that's it. That's all it takes to make the simplest salad dressing. You can keep this in the fridge. Actually, this is pretty shelf stable too, so you can set it out for a while. Um, but that is one of the easiest dressings that you can make, and it is delicious on just about all kinds of salads. So if you haven't ever tried this, try making some up, keeping it around, and try it on your salads because it's so much healthier with the olive oil than if you're buying them and they have the canola oil on, in them. So anyway, if this was helpful to you, if you liked it, please like, su subscribe, and share my video. I appreciate it, and uh, we'll come back and we'll do some more salad dressings because they're so simple, and the buttermilk ranch is absolutely to die for. So, thanks for joining me.